everybody. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing just as great as we are. I'm doing much better than last week. I know. I, I think it was like see. a Debbie Downer last week. People, people turn on like, dang, Bricia, <laughs> I'm trying to feel good about myself right now. I'm trying to, don't bring me all your negative energy over here. <laughs> I was like, hi. <laughs> I know. Much better. Much better. You slept? You got a massage? I got a massage yesterday. Nice Two hour day. massage. Nice. Two hour massage. Nice. That girl was like, I don't even know where to begin with these knots. I'm like, just <laughs> go. I'm sore today from the massage. Good. I mean, good. she went in there. Good. I good. love her. Oh, and also, I must say, I cooked twice for my husband this week. What? I made dinner twice. What did you do? So the first day <laughs> I made salmon, I boiled some salmon nice. and some roasted broccolinis. And then last night I made a tuna pesto pasta. Nice. And let me tell you guys that that sounds fancier than it really is <laughs> because it took me 15 minutes to make dinner. Really? 20, both times? Both times. Yeah. 20 minutes because it sounds fancy. Like I just realized you can make food sound fancy. Like <laughs> Imagine like... I made salmon and some roasted broccolinis tossed in, you know, some organic olive oil. <laughs> and then, you know, I made this pesto pasta with... Well, um, I made... Um, sockeye fish tuna. Like, you know, like you make... Soaked, I made soaked tortillas on a frijol... <laughs> frijol. Frijol uh, immersion. <laughs> and frijoladas. Emulsion. <laughs> on a bean emulsion. And a bean emulsion. with Topped with uh, organic cheese. Yeah. And, and some cecina. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, my husband was happy. And I was like, nice. I told you, baby, I'm trying to be a better housewife. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to get, and I went, I told you I went grocery yeah. shopping. So now I have, you know, vegetables for my child. So nice, nice. I know. You're coming up in I'm, life. I'm, I'm coming up. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it took me 13 minutes. It was not bad. No, not, no, 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 it's not. You know, actually, if you have things in the fridge, you can just, you know, make up things with whatever you have there. That's what I pretty much what I do. That's why um, I, you know, I have basic things and then whatever. I'm like, OK, how much time do I have today? Let me see how, what I can do. <laughs> and then yesterday I only had 15 minutes. So I made it pretty cool. <laughs> That's still hard, though. Pretty cool. What, did you get it from the restaurant? No, I oh. made it at home. <laughs> I made it at home. You know, I just realized, like. I remember when we were kids, there was always beans and salsa in our fridge all the time. Remember? Mm -hmm. Beans, salsa, and cheese. I don't have any of those things. So then I made it a point to have it because you can do a lot of things with those three things. A lot of things. A lot of dishes can come up with that. Okay. So then that's why yesterday I was like, oh, and frijoladas. <laughs> and, you know. I'm like, tacos de queso <laughs> con frijol. <laughs> queso frito and salsa. De frijol. Con frijol. <laughs> We would eat beans every <laughs> single day. Am yeah. I wrong? Every yeah. single day. With whatever, we would eat beans. Like mom would just like heat up the beans and we would eat the beans. <laughs> it's true. It is. I just started giving uh, beans to the baby. Oh, I but love them. Just the caldo. So then Doña Elena was like, oh, te los puse a decir de refrito, los tengo en el refrigerador. Mm. And I'm like, that's such a like Mexican mom thing it's to do, right? Like. Oh. I'm going to refry yep. your beans and leave them in the fridge. <laughs> I mean, the beans are still there. Damn, I should have had those this morning. <laughs> With huevitos. <gasps> Speaking of my baby eating beans, mm -hmm. today was the first day I changed my baby's diaper in the morning and it actually smelled like <laughs> poop. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> I remember too much. Last week, your poop still smelled good. What is going on? <laughs> oh, God. Since we're on the poop subject. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened to me last night. What happened? Oh, my God. So, I, you know, sometimes I shower Sabina, like, right before. Well, I shower her every night before she goes to bed. But last night, I wanted to do both because I just wanted to do a fast. And it was already, like, going to be 7. So, I was like, we need to do this. <laughs> like, we need to just get it. So be in I, bed before 7. Yeah. Be in bed before 7. <laughs> so, I fill up um, a bucket. You know, of water, and I put them in the tub, both of them in the tub. But I just, I was like, we're just gonna do a bucket because if I fill out the tub, it's just gonna take forever. So I put them there, both of them. Sabina's like already, you know, playing with the water and stuff. So I leave for like two minutes, less, like a minute. I leave. I went to get the towels, and I, while they were playing with the toys, and all of a sudden, Chris is like, "Mommy, Sabina's taking a poop." <laughs> And I was like, oh, my God. So I just, like, <gasps> left whatever I was doing. 
and I ran to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait, when I get there, Sabina has the shit <laughs> in her hand. Oh my god! I'm about to put her in her mouth. Okay, she's like, <laughs> she like literally like grabbed it. It was like it was going, it was going in her mouth, and I was like, it's slow motion. No! Like I literally jumped. Literally, like, threw myself, like, a football. And, like, nah! It was in slow motion, like, <laughs> And then she, like, looked at me, and she got so scared that she dropped it, and she started crying, because she and I was like, nah! You know, it was like... <gasps> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. There's, like, she does pieces of poop, like a, like a yeah, grown up? Yeah, like, pieces. Like, you know, pieces, like... <laughs> Like a gusanito piece? Uh, more like a freaking boa. Like <laughs> like a snake kind of thing. Not like a little worm, no. Like she held it in her hand like a good grip. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if you, any of you guys are eating because sorry not. Even me, I'm like, okay, that was too much. Too oh much. Oh, my TMI. God. No, seriously. I was like, no. <laughs> you know, and it never happened with Krista, ever. Ever, you know, and this little girl, like, she just relaxes too much in that's the a, That's the second time that happens to you. Second time. But the first time, it was just it was I, I remember you sent me a Snapchat <laughs> <laughs> of your baby pooping in the I back. know, and it was poor Krista, because, you know, she, she never sees that. So she's like, Mommy, Sabina pooped. And I was like, I know, honey, I'm sorry. She was like, she was going to eat it, Mommy. <laughs> I was like, I know. I made it just in time. <gasps> just in time. And then I, I just picked it up with toilet paper and put it on the toilet. And poor Chris, that's just like, uh, uh, the whole time, you know, me and her are like, and Sabina's like, what? Like, what? What just happened? Like, she didn't, <sighs> the poop experience. So, um, <laughs> you win. So, yeah, your experience was my, mine was worse. You win. Yesterday. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm telling you, up until last week, my baby had, you know, there's still like the yellow mustard oh, poop. Oh, yeah, the, the cute, cute poop. poop. <laughs> Wait until you start giving him like broccoli and stuff. Mm. Okay, right now he's having carrots, sweet potato, which he loves. Mm, yeah, they squash. love the stuff. What else does he have? Like beans, uh, banana in the mornings, avocado. Mm -hmm. Like he loves avocado. You know, and again, I, I mean, I, I was like, it's not even cute to change your diaper no more. Like, <laughs> it will never be cute after that. I'm like, I love to change your diaper. I was like, hi, honey. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, you know how mom was tell telling you that I got rid of my diaper thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I just don't, I just don't store diapers for more than like, for more than like a day. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. they just. Ugh, no, I know my poor husband can't so do that. My it's my husband. Like you know, we have duties in the house, and it's his thing. <laughs> it's like okay, you do the diaper pail. Like you are in charge of taking the poop out. And before he used to do it, you know, once a week, like every Sunday. And I'm like, honey, now you gotta do it like every, every day. Other, yeah, like, yeah. You need to get. And he's like, well, we gotta start splitting these because. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta go half and half. Like yeah. I was dad with it once a week, but oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't keep them for more than twenty four hours. I mean, why would you? You know what I mean? Like any diaper pail does not work for more than twenty four hours. Because doesn't matter how good it is. Once you open that, that's like a time bomb. You know, you open <laughs> that thing, it's like <laughs> no, no, no. I refuse. Not twenty four hours. Take them out all the time. <laughs> It's so funny. I never know what we're going to open up with. Me too, either. We're like, what are we going to talk about today? Hmm. And next thing you know, we'll talk about poop. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with all of you guys out there. We actually, my sister and I recorded 10 minutes like of a conversation <laughs> a couple weeks ago. And then we heard it back. We were like, we can't play this. I actually deleted it. <laughs> it was too much. It was it too was much. TMI. Like way TMI. <laughs> One day so, I'll tell you guys about what we we'll were talking we'll about. We'll see about this. We'll see if this this one makes it. <laughs> okay, guys. So today we have a, an amazing guest who's here in the studio listening to us, watching us, laughing. She's like, what is going on here? Why poop? am I here? Why am I here? <laughs> Give me more michelada. <laughs> Evelyn. Hi. Hi, Evelyn. <laughs> you can hear her. her she can hear her off. mic's off. But Evelyn, you guys are going to love her story. She was a teenage mom mm -hmm. and has 
today a 19 year old almost 19 year old and an almost two year old mm -hmm. so you guys are gonna be like what she's gonna talk about starting over ladies she was single mom and now she again she's starting over i cannot wait to share her story with you guys <laughs> she's here thank you for coming Evelyn. we'll be right okay. back guys see you in a bit back we're back okay no more poop talk hi evelyn hello hello how are you good my sister's over there eating her cacahuate <laughs> and her michelada i had a caca uh, cacahuate japonese in my mouth i don't know <laughs> finish it up and those are crunchy too right <laughs> They are. They're them. the best. They I'm are the best. I'm cleaning out the best. paquito in my mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best. The uh, They have, I mean, I've never been to Japan, but I'm sure they don't have them there. <laughs> it's a Mexican invention. <laughs> I've been to a sushi place and asked for them, and they never bring them to me. <laughs> if any of you guys have been to Japan, can you guys let me know if those are really Japanese? <laughs> the Hi, Japanese excuse peanuts. me. <laughs> can I get some Japanese peanuts over here? They're not grudgy. <laughs> the Jap Japoneses. Evelyn, anyway. welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for, for being me. here. I know you're a busy, busy woman. Yes, busy, busy, busy. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Evelyn is a marketing director for Why Am I Jeans? Yeah. Want a better butt? Oh. Want a better butt? Want a better butt? <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want a better butt. I just want a butt, period. <laughs> Just, just period. I don't want a better one. I just want one. Oh gosh, it's like right now is the butt life. Everybody wants a butt. I, know. I feel like ever since Jalen Beyonce, okay. everyone wants a butt, and, and it's like Kardashian. Yeah, I think it, I, I think Beyonce and I think Beyonce and Jalen were the butt queens, originators, oh, yeah. right? Yes, Queen they B. were the ones, and it's like. Wait a minute, I don't have a butt, and I've never gotten <laughs> one, so. Evelyn, thank you for being here. Yes. We are going to talk about something that a lot of people also have re been requesting. You have a 19-year-old son, about to be 19. Yes. And you also have a one-and-a-half-year-old. Yes. So Crazy. if you do the math, that means you had a huge <laughs> yeah, break a in between. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're super young. I think, like, when you, when you, I mean, when I saw you, I was like, when you go out with your son, do people think he's your boyfriend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or brother. Brother? Like a yeah. little brother? Boyfriend or brother. Yeah. Because, I mean, you look like you're in your 20s. Yes. Thank you. Do. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm cry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you do. And I was like, how is that even possible? So you told me you were a teenage mom. Yes. You're pregnant when you were in school. Yes. I and was pregnant at 16, and I had him at 17. Wow. My senior year in high school, I was a teen mom. I was the original teen mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I was, although they didn't have shows then, but yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about how, tell us just a little bit about your story, where you're from, oh boy. How, okay. your pre how your teenage pregnancy years were, <laughs> and how now you're a housewife uh, with yeah, two kids. Yeah. Um, so I grew up in, I was raised and grew up in Hacienda Heights. And um, I actually had a great upbringing. My parents were um, entrepreneurs. They owned a couple car dealerships uh, my whole life up until um, my adult life. And I have two brothers. I have an older brother that's a year older than me and a younger brother that's six years younger than me. We're Puerto Rican, so... Puerto if Rico. you know, there's nothing but family and food constantly surrounded by us. And course, everybody is up in everyone's biz. <laughs> so. Is that every Latino <laughs> culture? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, I had a normal upbringing and um, we, we, were, we were well off. And my parents did an amazing job. They were extremely supportive. They were great, great, great parents. I guess if we're going to talk about how I ended up pregnant. <laughs> God. Um the bees you know, the, you know you guys have talked about this before we didn't talk about sex mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. it was like not something that was ever mentioned yeah. and um i was one of those teenagers that um wanted to grow up too fast and i started hanging around with a cousin that was older than me oh. and doing things too many things that 
a young age. So, mm-hmm. um, I met- now you look at your daughter, you're like, oh, oh God, you don't even know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I can't even with this generation now that social media and everything oh, is, yeah. so you know, scary. so relevant and mm-hmm. in their it's like in their DNA now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, then it was not like that. Let's not bring that up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I um, started hanging around with older people going to clubs way too young and doing things that I shouldn't have been doing at the age that I was. But, I mean, overall, I still was doing well in school, and I got a part-time job, and I was, you know, doing my business, but also having some fun and being naive, and then I got knocked up. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, totally was in denial, but um, once I accepted it, then I knew I, you know, had to get to business and really try to embrace the fact that I was going to be a teen mom. And I had a supportive family. Again, my, God, my parents at first, my mom was devastated. Like, she was like, this is not happening to me. (laughs) You know? Mm -hmm. Like, how could this happen to me? This is not for real. So she was in denial. My dad is a Christian man. So amazing man. The most amazing man. And he, um, he took it. I know it was hard for him, but he took it as this is God's plan. Which it was in the end. Right. You know, um, I look back. I can look back now and say that it was definitely in the cards for me. Of course. Um, Yeah. So so I had Andrew uh, my senior year. I didn't stop going to school. I continued going to school. I was in the relationship with, I call him the sperm donor. (laughs) Because he's not in our lives. And he was in our lives for a very short time. So in all intents and purposes, he's a sperm donor. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we were together for five years. And at first it was great. You know, he was extremely helpful. And I was still going to school. Like I said, I continued going to school. I he was older than you? He was I'm five years older than me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, I hung around people way too older mm-hmm. than me. So he um, was around and he was supportive, helpful for the first three years then the third when Andrew was around three it started you know fading away and he started wanting to do his own thing you know he was still young guys mature younger Uh, I'm sorry yeah yeah. older (laughs) yeah he was um wanted to do his own thing so you know we um after I graduated from high school we were still together and then I got a job at a bank Mm -hmm. and then um I was working actually part-time when I had Andrew and I was going to school I finished high school then Mm -hmm. after that I went straight to college and um after I finished um or while I was in college I got a job at a bank and I was working part-time and going to school and for the most part I had his help and you living with your parents I was living yes I was living with my parents during that time and then like I said he just started fading away like the third year he started wanting to do his own thing and so after um we broke up we barely you know did anything together um he would want to see andrew once in a while and then i decided i needed to go to court Mm -hmm. you know to figure this all out legally so we did that and andrew was about four at that time and um i can't speak for him because i don't know the reason why he just faded away i can assume um based on like you know his reasons to me and it was just him not wanting to own up to the responsibility that he was legally given right you know? yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so at that point I was like you know what so be it I gotta just take it as it is and continue focusing on what I needed to do right. so uh, I was going to junior college and I was working and I just continued and you know let him fade away and I left it up to him and and then it ended up like that my main thing because I grew up in such a stable home um, and with a such strong family um, background, mm-hmm. I didn't want Andrew to be unstable right. going from one house to the other and one house to one bed to the next bed and one bed to the next bed. That was really hard for me to um, to do, you know, or to accept until that happened. I did for a little while and it just never worked out well. Um, the visitations were never scheduled. They were just all over the place. It wasn't, there was no stability at first and I couldn't let that happen. So I just, um, like I said, continued and then he faded away and, and me and Andrew just, we were road dogs. (laughs) He was, you know, I just had him understand that I'm his mom. 
Yeah. And I was going to take care of him with the help of my parents. And as far as a father figure, again, I had an older brother. And I had and an extremely amazing father. So, you know, he had that father figure. And it was a Does really good one. Does he call your dad dad? Or? No. He calls him Pops. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. He doesn't call him dad. Um, but if you were to ever ask him... He would say that um, my dad is his yeah. father, you know, like yeah. some sort. So then I continued going to school and working and, and being a mom, a single mom. And girls, it was hard. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I can imagine. It was hard in the sense of me wanting to be in my 20s and, uh, you know, be in college and do that thing and hang out with my friends who were all single, no babies. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, and also have Andrew with me and be that mom that was present mm -hmm. and supportive to him and raising him and balancing those was, oh, it was hard. Again, I had an amazing support system with my family. So whenever I wanted to go out with my friends, my mom and my dad would watch him. And, you know, we lived with them for a while while I was going to college and, um, and then I uh, graduated college very long after <laughs> I went to college for seven years. But and you finished. You finished. I did. I did. But, but you finished. good Lord, it was way too long. <laughs> it was really long. So, uh, but I had to go part time. I and mean, I had to how work. could you not take a long time? You have a child. Yeah. You're working. working. Seven yeah. years. I'm, I mean, you finished I know, college. That's a big accomplishment. A lot of people don't. You yeah, know, it just gets too hard, too overwhelming. And they just mm -hmm. stop. They just give up and you didn't. Yeah. You know? You know, I I think during that time, I had tunnel vision. I was just really focused in, focused on working at the bank, and I was you know um, growing at the bank too, and uh, and finishing college. Mm -hmm. So I had tunnel vision, and also raising Andrew and being um, you know an example to him to show him like mom works hard, and this is what mom has to do. Um, he went to daycare from when he was a year. And yeah. I was, um, you know, doing my thing that I had to do. So, um, you know, that was, that was, that was that. And I, then I changed careers once I finished college. I knew I wanted to get into fashion. So, um, I started doing, um, I started just getting involved with, uh, events and doing PR for, in the fashion industry mm -hmm. and the producing events, fashion shows, all that fun stuff. And then I said, you know what? This is where I need to be. And I just networked. I networked my butt off. And That's the way to do it. I got a foot in the door for an internship right after college. And um, then I got the position at a footwear company. And then I just, you know, the rest is history. I just, I quit my bank job. And I started working, uh, doing PR nice. and marketing. And then I just continued in the industry. And a few years after I was... Um, working in the industry, I came upon YMI, and um, I've been there now for almost 10 years. I, I love it. I'm so blessed. I thank God every day for, you know, the places that he's put me. Of course. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. So, then. And now, you have like <laughs> almost two-year-old. Yeah, yeah. And so I think that's one of the things a lot of moms, like, who are teenage moms currently, or who are kind of like, where Evelyn, you were, mm -hmm. let's say, even 15 years ago mm -hmm. with a three-year-old boy thinking like, oh my God, what's going to happen to me? Like, here I am, you know, or maybe when you, you know, Andrew was five, like 14 years ago, you know, yeah. you're like, the dad has gone, um, you know, not finished college and like, what's ever going to, like, what's going to happen to me? Yeah. You know, and now it's, you have a husband, you have a two-year-old mm -hmm. and you're starting all over. Yeah. Again. Yeah. How Literally is, hit the reset button. How is is like Evelyn mom before and Evelyn oh, mom now. <laughs> it is. This is one thing for sure. It's a completely different life. Really? Totally. I mean, not only that it's different generations and there's so many different um, ways of mothering now. I mean, God, you guys, every there's, it's like we're on information overload <laughs> of how to be with your baby, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. It's just, again, information overload. So, you know, with Andrew, when I was young and raising him, I did what, you know, was in my, what, what would naturally come to me. Mm -hmm. 
and I mean, I re- I did take a parenting class as a teen. I, w- I took a couple of parenting classes actually, and um, I started to just listen to advice. That was a big thing, and hard. You know, it's right. hard as a teenager. You're not trying to listen to advice. You're trying to do you. You know. <laughs> yeah. And I had to listen to advice, and um, and ask. So that's what I did with Andrew. And now with <laughs> my daughter. Now all I do is. Read, <laughs> read, and, read and Google and exactly what should read I do? Exactly articles on mm-hmm. one subject. <laughs> yes, I um, look everything up. I know I shouldn't, but I still do. I um, I do look everything up. But like, uh, so let's say looking back, uh, you know, your first experience in that, like, what are the biggest lessons that you learned the first time that you reapplied organically with your daughter now? That I knew I wasn't gonna do. The yeah. bottle, ay Dios, the bottle. <laughs> oh, you guys, I had him. And this was my mother's fault. She had me. It's always our mother's fault. <laughs> it is. She would not let me take the bottle away from him. Really? Yeah, until, until he was two. Oh. And I knew, like, oh, no, this is not happening. I'm taking the bottle away from Well, I, okay, <laughs> let me back it up. I breastfed um, a whole year. Mm-hmm. and Both times. Well, with him, I breastfed until three months. And then with her, uh, a whole year. Big difference. That's another thing, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Totally different generations. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, uh, information is totally different. Then it wasn't a big thing yeah. at all. Like, even in my teen parenting classes, it was like, if you can't, you can't. You know, the benefits weren't really outlined to us. Yeah. Um, and then now it's like, you know. If you don't bring your child, thing. yeah, how dare you not breastfeed your yes. child? You know, not knocking <laughs> the people who decide not to, but um, it, it's you know, it's important. Um, I also have to admit, I did decide to breastfeed for financial benefits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I no, said, no. if this is free, here we go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pull out the boob. So, um, yeah, so that was a big difference. The bottle, and also the sleeping. You know, he, it was just me and him, so he slept with me. You guys, he slept with me till he was eight. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, I hope none of your friends are listening right now. <laughs> yes, he did. But on and off. Like, I, but he had his room. He had his bed. And he would sleep in his bed. But, you know, he'd end up in mommy's bed. Yeah. And I was okay with that, you know. Did you date, like, during, so, in, in between? You know, yeah. I would say for a while there, I was not dating because, again, I had tunnel vision. I mean, I'd go out and I'd have fun and, you yeah. know, once in a while I'd talk to guys. And um, I was not really as focused on dating. Um, I had a guy that I was kind of steady with on and off. Well, that's not steady then, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was just a guy in my life. Yeah. Um, and... It was never 100% serious because, you know, I, I really wanted to stay focused. A big thing for me, again, was stability. I didn't want to bring guys in and out of Andrew's life. I'm, of course. I'm yeah. sorry. I I am a big believer that um, it, it affects them, mm-hmm. you know, and I did not. I refused to have Andrew know this guy and then know that guy and then know this guy. Once I was, what well, old was I? I was 27 and I knew my husband from growing up together. He also grew up in Hudson Heights. Oh. And yeah, we have mutual friends and it all happened. The story is um, funny and and crazy, but um, I knew him. So when I first started, when he came into my life in that way, it wasn't even like thinking like, oh, I'm going to date him. You know, <laughs> it never is. because like, at that point like, you weren't like you're gonna put another baby in my belly. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Because at that point, I wasn't looking for it anyway. So, so it happened. You know, again, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> he was definitely the qualities that my husband had was what I wanted. So when I started dating him, and things started moving mm-hmm. and progressing, I thought, okay, so let me think about this. I'm actually gonna have a guy in Andrew's life. And it's going to be the guy, you know, he accepted that I had a son and he embraced it. Oh my God. He really embraced it. And he's a coach, uh, sports, he coached basketball and he's very good with young boys. (laughs) So he, um, he, you know, he, he embraced it and he took Andrew on later on in our relationship, obviously as his own son, you know? So, um, 
Andrew doesn't call him dad or anything like that, but he's definitely taken on that role. And How long have you been with your husband? We've been together now for eight years. So most of, I mean, Andrew. So Andrew was 10. Was 10, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At first, Andrew was not feeling it, though. At 10, <laughs> of course. a 10-year-old boy, that was hard. That was a hard one. He was not accepting it at first. He was, I mean, he knew mommy had a boyfriend and he knew that this guy was around, but you know, it was hard for him to get his, wrap his head around. Yeah. And Ray was really good with being present. Ray, your husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was really good with being present and um, he is also very family oriented. So he made sure that he was always involved, you know? And um, and it, it it just evolved. In and you waited to have your your second child. Yeah, you waited because you <laughs> I know did. you've been together for ten years, ten years, eight years. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, and your we waited. Gonna be two. Yep. Honestly, I wasn't thinking I wanted to have another kid. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was like, no, I'm we're good. And he knew that, but I knew deep down he wanted to have a. a so when you guys were child. starting dating, here's the question: When you guys started dating, did you guys have this like conversation? Um, like, Hey, do you ever want to have kids in the future? I, I know I mentioned it a few times that I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> you but I was sure. 27, yeah. you know, 27, 28. And your baby was 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're like, no, I'm done. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to do this all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, that's exactly, so what made Lisa, you that's exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this all over yeah. again. So no. like, what, what was it? You just, did, did you guys plan on having the baby? Um, no, we did not plan. God. <laughs> <laughs> God gave me the baby. I guess. No, you know, we got married. We went home. It was an extra room. <laughs> and I wasn't as um, diligent on my birth control. <laughs> so. I know one of my girlfriends came today to visit and she was like, you guys, I got pregnant again. I don't know how it happened. And I'm like, well, I'll tell you how it happened. You're not using protection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like literally from the... I the time of my last pill to starting the next one, which I delayed a couple of days on it happened. <laughs> <laughs> you were just meant to have another child. Yeah. I, yeah. And Oh God, totally different. I am like mama bear. <laughs> how I, did I, your son take it? And yeah. how is it? Wait, how, you is know what? Actually like a teenager and, and a, a toddler. toddler. Oh, how was that? Well, okay. He was the first person I told I was pregnant. Oh, oh that's that's cute. and I wanted Before him to know. Ray, oh, your yeah. husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he was. I was like, if anybody's gonna know this, it's gonna be Andrew because I needed him. I needed to get him on board. On board, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that he needed to prove, but yeah. um, you know, it was only just just me and him. So, um, for so long. Yeah, yeah. So. I told him and he was like, no, he thought I was lying. He thought I was messing with him. <laughs> and since I'm a young mom, um, him and I have such a relationship where we can talk that way. You know, we're very He's your casual. casual. He's your we talk? Yeah, He's your yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So he was like, no, mom, stop lying for real. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, I think so. I'm going to the doctor to confirm. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. And he was like, what? So when I finally told him, like, yeah, for sure, and I want, and we were gonna tell Ray, it's so funny because we went out to dinner. <laughs> we went out to dinner, and Ray was like, "Baby, you want a drink?" And I'm like, I looked at Andrew. Andrew looked at me with these eyes, like, <gasps> "You do not drink." <laughs> and I didn't want Ray to think anything because I had this whole plan in my head of how I was gonna tell him that yeah. I was pregnant, which was fun for me because you know I didn't have that with Andrew. Aww. So um, I. I looked on Pinterest. I'm like, ways to surprise your husband. <laughs> I love it. Pinterest. Yeah, exactly. So um, Andrew looked at me like, you're not drinking. So I'm like, no, I'll just get a water. And then Ray got his drink. He's like, you want to taste? And I pretended to taste. <laughs> and Andrew the whole time was like thinking and I was looking at me like, what like, are you doing? What, yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, it, he is in love with his little sister. He's, oh, that's great. He's the big brother. Granted, he's 19 years old, or almost 19, so he definitely um, does his own thing mm -hmm. and doesn't want really to be home hanging out with mom and baby and, and my husband. So he's, you know, he, he whenever he comes around and sees her, he's like, Harlow, you know, he's good with her, and she's constantly, Andrew Paul, Andrew Paul, Andrew Paul, <laughs> you know, she always wants to be in the room with him. She always wants to be laying on his bed and seeing what he's doing. 
so it's really cute it's super cute and um and he loves it and it's it's the feeling is totally different i hate to say it but it's just it's a different feeling when you are already stable and mm-hmm. settled in your life mm-hmm. and you um are on that track opposed to trying to climb yeah and and do what you know you need to do for your future um i mean i still have goals and you know <laughs> of things that i want to do but um just the whole um you're a grown the up, part yes. of being yeah. a mother yeah you never stop growing regardless mm-hmm. you know yeah. but you're an adult yeah it's you're not totally 17. different totally totally different the patience is different the um is it the more knowledge. or less <laughs> I, you know what um I, I would say it's more but not like i was one of those teen moms who were like oh, leave me alone you know i was not like that but um i didn't understand mm-hmm. as much as i do now because I Google everything. <laughs> <laughs> and if Google says it, yeah, that's right. And because I read. <laughs> but in your home, because, I mean, your boy still mm-hmm. lives with you. Mm-hmm. And your daughter and your husband. Mm-hmm. So, and um, I know you were mentioning the other day how Andrew starts to be a little, you know, talking back. And, you know. Oh, God, yeah. So, so <laughs> how do you do with that? And then having like a two-year-old who's like, Mommy, Mommy, mm-hmm. I gotta How's go about to the to bathroom. Talk back? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, or God. like, or like, you know, like tantrums, tantrums. How yeah, because they're they're basically both doing tantrums. Yeah. Only I'm one's going 18 through and one is two. I'm going through the stage of dealing with somebody who wants to be an adult and have freedom, mm-hmm. but I don't want to let that go yet because I know he still needs mom. And the stage of having to gain as much patience as possible for the toddler. It's completely two different stages and. I'm not going to lie. It's really hard. Um, emotionally, mentally, it's exhausting, you know, um, also having a career and being in my position with work. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot. It honestly is a lot, but you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. And I just go with it every time, you know, I, I guess with Andrew, because he's at that stage where again, he wants to have freedom. I, I, I've i learned to let go and I just recently let go. I let him drive finally at 18. <laughs> uh, that was a hard one for me. And I, you know, Latina moms, man. Yeah. I was like, you're not driving. Um, cause I know what kids do when they drive when they're under 18. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that part and then Harlow just cute girls know, like having a baby, like yeah. there's so much that you take on. Yeah. You know, and it takes a lot out of you. And just as being a mom, you just have a lot of expectations for yourself. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Yeah, it's that's pretty much what it is. It's a, it's a lot of pressure on both ends. Here's a question that we asked our previous guest for Teenage Mom. Mm-hmm. What would Evelyn today tell Evelyn at 17? Wow, what a good question. Oh, my gosh. You I've know, never about thought about everything. it, but or I would even say I would say Evelyn today with Evelyn with a four year old. Yeah, I would say probably I, I'm going to say stay focused because that's what I did, I guess, mm-hmm. you know, so I always think when I see teen moms right these days, I look and I, I'm like, damn, that was I was there, you know, and the only Not just a teen mom, but you were a single mom too. Yeah, a single mom, single teen mom. And I always think when I see them struggling or whatever drama they go through, because trust me, it's a lot of freaking drama. <laughs> I always think, you know what? You need to do you. And I, I want to tell them, you need to do you. And um, you need to just trust that um, in your strength as a woman and as a mother. And only think about yourself and your baby. And that's it. Because in the end, you know, that's what matters. Yeah. You know, I really, really wanted that family when I was young. I really wanted that, that family upbringing for my son and with mom and dad, you know, cause that's the way I was brought up, mm-hmm. but I had to accept. And it was really hard to accept that I wasn't going to have that for him. So I just needed to do the best that I could as a mom and a dad, you know, but he turned out. Yeah. You know. He, you know, it was, I, tight ropes girls <laughs> seriously it was really really um i i kept a tight rope on him i just everything that he did i wanted to make sure i was a hundred percent um okay with and 
and um and I guided him in the right direction you know and it, wow. it's turned out really well and you know I also had as like I said I uh Ray has been in our life since he was 10 so I had a lot of help from my husband in that end um as far as like the man part of it mm-hmm. so you know he, how does he that really work with Ray and him and like your baby like does he you know because I know how teenagers can be I mean I know how I was mm-hmm. even with my dad I'm like you can't tell me what to do you know when he's yeah. my dad so <laughs> yeah how does that work between what's the dynamics between I the two am or? the discipline for Andrew and you know he does give me the advice and he does point things out that he sees Ray I mean um but for the most part um I'm the one that disciplines and you know he's done a really good job with not trying to put a hammer on Andrew you know Mm -hmm. and tell him he gives him advice he doesn't discipline him he just gives him advice and he gives him really good advice because again he's he's got that coach background yeah Yeah. so you know he he for the most part tries to just give him good advice so yeah nice I feel bad for whoever's gonna date Andrew (laughs) oh he has a girlfriend (laughs) oh Um, what Wow. Yes. How is that? You're so young, and now you're. Like, I know. You're be a I know. Suegra. He has a girl. <laughs> oh, <you> stop it! <laughs> you're gonna have a nuera. <laughs> no, he has a girlfriend. Sweet girl, totally sweet girl. Her name's Dulce, and um, <laughs> mm-hmm, I know. Trust me. When I oh. tell all my friends her name, they're like, "Uh huh, Dulce, mm-hmm. right? Uh huh. I bet she's real sweet." I'm like, "Stop it." <laughs> um, yeah. So you know. The day my son brings the girl, I'm taking that girl out of my home. <laughs> Plus, I'm sure you talk to him about sex and, you know, being careful I and mess, all that. I talk to him as, like, Andrew, you know better. And, like, in a joking kind of way. Mm-hmm. But, like, at the same time, like, he knows I'm serious. So, I'm like, I do not want to come home and find out that I'm having a grandkid. Or I... I am. <laughs> I look too good to be a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I tell him in those ways. And he's a very responsible, luckily, he's grown up to be an extremely responsible, um, mature young man. So, I mean, I'm crossing my fingers still. He's only 19, <laughs> you know? And he just started college. And he knows what he has to do. And he knows that, you know, mom is going to kick his ass if he does anything that he <laughs> Well, the shouldn't. mom like you. I'm sure he's going to turn out to be amazing. All right, guys. Yeah. We'll be right back. Back. We're back with our favorite segment. <laughs> favorite subject. I but mean, now a favorite segment. Your pick or tip of the week. What did we buy this week? <laughs> Evelyn, <laughs> you can go first because you're our guest. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give all of the lis- listeners a little um, pick, yes. which is of course, why am I jeans? <laughs> I'm wearing them today, you guys. Yes, and you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wear them on the um, on the event. On yeah, Saturday, and then yes, and nice. they, they looked well. amazing on you. Thank you. Okay, not just because I work there, okay, <laughs> and because I'm the marketing director, but 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 <laughs> want a better butt. The jeans are an amazing fit. So to all the mamas out there who just had babies and feel mm-hmm. like they can't mm-hmm. put themselves back into jeans, mm-hmm. you can. With why am I jeans? <laughs> I and, sound like a commercial. Giving, no, no, but you're giving our super mama a discount, am. right? Yes, twenty five percent off with a discount code super mamas. Wow. At why am I? At why am I jeans? So why am I jeans dot com. Follow us on Instagram at why am I jeans and Snapchat why am I underscore jeans. Nice guys, twenty five percent off. Mm-hmm. Want a better butt jeans? Want a better butt, 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 butt. mamas? <laughs> Valina, do you have a pick? Yes. As we were talking before. <laughs> oh, what happened to you earlier this, bath, yeah, last night the on the bath? <laughs> well, you know, now I can actually get Krista inside the bath. Remember, I was always talking about how she hated taking a shower and she hated being there. Mm-hmm. So I recently bought some crayons for the bath. Oh. She loves to draw. She's in that stage where she's just like all about drawing everywhere, <laughs> you know, everywhere. Um, so I bought her some crayons and she you know i let her explore her artistic side in the bath (laughs) (laughs) my tub is full of faces and suns and you know all these things and she loves it you know i gave them to her they're a bunch of colors um they're from crayola and right after i give them a bath so they're just like bath crayons bath crayons because um you know after like once i you know put the water and i let her run and i just pour some water and it disappears 
So it's not, you know, it doesn't leave stain. it dirty. It doesn't stain. Uh, they're non-toxic because now Sabina puts them in her mouth. <laughs> and so they're not chewing on them, you know, without me seeing, of course. But they work great for both of them because now Sabina is start starting to see that a crayon can paint. So, you know, she's they're both enjoying it. So if you have difficulties with your child, <laughs> I would definitely suggest. Do you the child getting them in the bath? You getting them yes. in the bath. Because I think we all have difficulties. Oh, I have yes. those difficulties. <laughs> Good bath time. Lord. This, uh, this is a big, big thing. Um, so that's my tip. My pick. Your and tip, tip. Your pick. Nice, nice. Well, since we're in the shower conversation <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago my i got a new bathtub for my baby a new bath mm-hmm. yeah bathtub one of my girlfriends hosted her baby shower here and she had registered for this primo euro bath mm-hmm. and um i saw it and i was like oh my goodness i need to get this so yeah. i and it was like only 21 dollars mm-hmm. 21 dollars and 48 cents <laughs> the best 21 dollars and 48 cents i ever spent he freaking loves yeah. it he loves that bathtub and i love that bathtub it's big it's big it's deep like you can use it you can he can lay down yeah. one and then whenever he's ready to sit mm-hmm. he can sit on so the other side so uh, i love it i yeah. love love that bathtub. i can testify i used it i mean oh. too i used it for krista too and it's the best one because it grow it's it i think she used it until she was like two and a half mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah i, I yeah. Was, i'm like this is it. This is the best $21 mm-hmm. and 48 cents I ever spent. Yeah. So Primo, shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Primo Eurobath, you guys. That's my pick. Yay. Nice. It's Don't a wait. really it's a really good bathtub. I recommend that as well. I second you. Thank you. And you third me. <laughs> yes, yeah. I third you. I actually <laughs> being um, a new mom again <laughs> when I registered oh I was on every consumer report you can imagine <laughs> I, 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 I like looked at what was the best and I registered for whatever was highest rated I and me too. they're primo <laughs> <laughs> so I was like got it done registering that was great for that because the other ones are just too small or some don't make sense yeah mm-hmm. like, they're like, too complicated yeah. I, I, with, with Sabina I got the spa <laughs> what a waste of money never get a spa for your newborn <laughs> uh, yeah I don't think they care about that <laughs> It was horrible. It was no. Um, I still have it. I mean, it's gonna last for a long time. Yeah. And it's like, it's almost like he's like he he's swimming every day. He's mm-hmm. like, you know, I I just I, I love I I think that's my favorite part of the day is giving my baby a bath and like Aww. seeing how much he enjoys it. It's definitely my favorite part of the day. Yeah, it's the best part. So well, cute. thank you so much, Evelyn, for coming in thank today. You, I hope you enjoy your taquitos and your michelada. Uh, amazing, seriously. <laughs> thank you for my jeans. Ah, uh, of course. Thank you so much. Thank of you for course. my jeans. And I'm thank like, you for ooh. the discount for the super mamas. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people will enjoy. They're gonna be like, yay! Jeans. Of <laughs> course, ladies, out. use it. We don't only have jeans; we have jackets and tops too. So, oh, I'm enjoy. Out. I know I visited your website. I'm like, ooh, I'm getting that jacket. <laughs> I've been on the on the hunt for a jean jacket. You know what? Every girl needs to own a jean jacket. Oh, okay? totally. It is like a closet staple because oh, totally. you can put it on with anything. 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 Yeah. So I've been on a hunt for a nice jean jacket for a while. I haven't really. I haven't taken the time to like go on and like. Search Isn't that one. weird when you become a mom? It's like you're mm-hmm. totally second. Oh yeah. yeah. But how like, about how many how much time do you spend on baby websites looking at clothes? Oh god. Oh, <laughs> like I we just, were just talking about Etsy. <laughs> I just went on a shopping spree on Cotton On. I don't know if you guys have it. Oh my god, Cotton oh, On baby hello. wear. Yes. yes, the best. That's yes. my not, Okay, maybe I should do it. Uh, throw it in as a second pick. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on a friend's baby, and I was like, "What is that?" She's like, "Cotton On." I never heard of Cotton On before in my life. I. And like when you first subscribed, you know, like uh-huh. my list, thirty five percent off. I joined it. I went. I bought like, I don't know how much. Like just everything I could find. I was like, yes, yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I am obsessed with cotton on kids on. I think it's kids cotton or something like that. They have great items. Oh, they I do. love it. I Sabina got some for her birthday. Uh, it's so cute. And after that, I was like, huh. Let me check it out. And I did. And oh, God. So cute. They have mm-hmm. those um, for your baby since he's still baby baby. Uh, the triangle bibs. Oh, yeah. They have all kinds of cute Yo, ones. They have, they have great ones. They I, have I mean, I, I'm like obsessed with cotton on right now. That's like the yeah. only place I will shop for my baby now. I <laughs> shop there for myself as well. I'm obsessed. I'm a bad online shopper, you guys. I <laughs> Who isn't? Join the club. <laughs> well, can, I, can I throw in a, an, a second pick? Okay, go. Uh, talking about websites. Oh, my God. Have you guys tried Amazon Prime uh, Express? I'm a member. <laughs> no, no, no. Express. Oh, no. Okay. No. Have you? Oh. So the I ran get out. There in an hour? They 
they get the, they get there within the hour. Stop it. I yeah. ran out of I ran out of diapers uh, like yesterday, and I was sure I had extra diapers. Right, I was so sure, and I was like, "What the hell? I don't have any diapers. I had not one diaper." I went on Amazon. Is it Express? One. I think it's called Amazon One. Amazon One or something like that. And wow, they actually got there within like thirty. Is minutes. it like an Uber? <laughs> kind of. Kind like of. Like for Amazon. Kind of. Kind of. And they take you sprinkles. Stop it. Uh, they take you. I don't need Amazon, to be knowing this. And they take you ear horn. But they deliver within the hour. Oh my within god. Within the hour. I already love wow. Amazon. I smell trouble. Uh, <laughs> I'm a huge Amazon. Everything. Me too. I, I buy the everything primo Amazon. about Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. I'm and with Target. you, ladies. <laughs> it's <Target>. very true. <laughs> Oh God, let's not. But even Target's go there. like an outing. Like, yeah, Target's like. like it's why out. is Target? <laughs> hello, why is Target like a night out for a mom? Oh yeah, I, don't know. I get so excited. I walk in, I get my Starbucks, and I just have this warm feeling inside. Right, like yeah, like, I know oh, what you mean. Relaxation, you know what? Target. It's, and you know what? That's why I've been putting it off. Because I'm like, I don't need to go. I don't need to spend two hundred dollars. I don't need. To. Oh no, but when to, you have you know? that red card, it's like. It's like crack. <laughs> yes, by percent. Cartwheel? Car- and cartwheel. <laughs> yes, which only saves you like a dollar each trip, which is not much, but you but feel you're special. you're scanning everything. Yeah. And, you're like, and you're scanning. You're like, yes, yes. And like everyone's scanning in the, in the aisle with you. You're like, cartwheel. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I already yeah. have. I already know my, my way. Or like, I already know where to start. Mm-hmm. My store. I already, I have a store that I go to, and I already yeah. know my, my routine. Yeah. Like, Your route. Yeah, I, know, I have a route. I already know when my kids are going to start crying. I already know exactly where we're going to be, what I'm going <laughs> to give them, everything. Like, Target. Target. Oh, Target is... Target, Tar-Jay. can you sponsor us? It's like the place to be for <laughs> that a mom. my dream come true. Yeah. They will. Watch. They will. Oh, Super Mamas. Thank you so much for another week. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Such a pleasure. To, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, you guys. We post a lot, and we love hearing your comments and reading your comments and getting to know you guys. Yes. Our Instagram is at underscore super mamas yes uh, we also have our new facebook closed group page which is super mamas exclamation mark because <laughs> a lot of people can't find it it's because it's super mamas super mamas two separate words with an exclamation point at the end okay so that's our closed group page our facebook page super mamas podcast and our website is super mamas podcast.com also you guys don't forget to call our hotline we've received so many messages I have to have time to go through all of them and like try to figure out when to plug one in. But uh, we heard from so many and our phone number 424-326-3707. Again, 424-326-3707. And also iTunes. Yes, iTunes. You can find us on iTunes on the icon for podcasts. You can just go to search, type Super Mamas, find us, subscribe, put a review. Thank you for all your amazing reviews, guys. Thank you so much. It means so much to us thank you and again evelyn you can find evelyn on instagram at evie jimenez on instagram evie evelyn i know you go by evie, yeah. evie. thank you so much <laughs> thank, thank you, you thank you so much for and congratulations on starting oh, over you. and your career and never giving up and having tunnel vision you are such an inspiration to so many you. women out there another great nice. super mama thank you. all right thank guys you. super mamas we super are mamas out. Super bye mamas. bye bye, bye. 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 <laughs>